am and I'm back here with another video. Today I'm in Washington DC and I'm catching the Metro. It's actually my second time catching the Metro uh, in DC. Probably like my fourth, fifth time being in DC, but it's gonna be my first time going to the Smithsonian Museum. So you guys make sure you stick around for that. And we're just gonna explore the city, man. I'm gonna show you guys uh, um, some black history spots here in DC. Uh, I did I did my research, so yeah, just stick around. Stay tuned. You see, this is Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport right in front of me. Just caught a flight in from North Carolina. I'm here in DC. Gonna explore the city, gonna explore the black history of Washington DC. You know, we have a lot of a lot of history in the nation's capital, so So I'm heading to the Smithsonian Museum. So I'm catching the yellow line. So apparently I have to get off at Lefant or I'm not sure how, how do you pronounce it, but you know, if you guys are natives of DC, you know, and you ride, you ride the Metro often. And, um, let me know in the comments how to, how to pronounce that station. Uh, I believe I have to switch over lines. I have to switch over to the orange line. So, you know, I'm familiar with riding a uh, CTA in uh, Chicago and uh, Marta in Atlanta, but this is my first, well, not my first time, my second time riding Metro in DC. family so I got a little lost on the metro so now I'm just walking to the museum this is about 15 minutes away so you see I'm in the city yeah so metro is kind of confusing I tried to um, I was on the orange line and I thought the orange line would have taken me to the museum, the Smithsonian, but apparently not. So I think I had to switch over to the blue line. And then I went up, went up the subway to get out of the blue line to get to the blue line. And it just took me above ground. So I'm like, forget it. I'm just put it in a GPS walk, get some exercise and get to the Smithsonian. But I'll show you guys some of the scenery surrounding me. It's a beautiful city. It's not as cold yet. About, I wanna say 50 degrees right now, so so dead to look it's a, it's a dead city but i'm guessing you know well it's sunday so yeah but that explains that but all right fam i'm gonna give you guys a little short walking tour of the city on my way to the museum
my family. So I'm actually at the Smithsonian a little early. So they don't open until 10 o'clock. So right now it's about 9.30. So right across from the Smithsonian is actually the Washington Monument. So, you know, so if you guys are planning to come to DC and, you know, you want to do a tour of the Washington Monument or you plan on going to Smithsonian to see black history, just know it's right next to the Washington Monument. And it's not far from the uh, Lincoln Monument either. So everything is pretty much and walking distance where you guys can get from place to place. Like I said, I took the train. I tried to take the train here, but I ended up walking from the train station because I got a little lost taking their um, transit system. But I'm just gonna walk around, give you guys a little tour of the area. So just stick around. And I got some more black history coming. So I'm gonna walk up closer to the monument so you guys can get a closer look. As you can see, that's the Smithsonian Museum right there. So it's literally right across the street from this place, from the monument. And for those of you guys who haven't been to Washington DC yet, gotta come you know it's, it's a beautiful city you can get a lot of walking a lot of exercise done down here just just watching the monuments just checking things out so me you know I'm um, more particular, I like to see black history. See, that's the full Washington Monument. I believe you can go to the top too. I came here when I was younger. My, my dad, my parents took me here, but I don't think we went to the top though. And I know there's always a line. We, we might've went to the top, I really don't remember, but you know, there's a lot of activity. There's a lot of things you can do out here. See there's people jogging, always exercising. There's, there's a local, local people that live around the monument. So there's a stage over here. So pretty sure they have performances every now and then. And let's see. It's kind of, it's, it's actually on a hill, somewhat of a hill, so you can see there is a Lincoln Monument down there. Let me just zoom in a bit. There's a Lincoln Monument over there. It's still walking distance. Like I said, D.C. is a walking friendly city. You get your exercise in here. You guys see the American flags. You know, I wanna I wanna show you guys a little bit of everything, you know. Usually I like to stick to black history, but I wanna show you guys this too. So when you plan your trip to DC, you know, you you'll know what to look for, you know what's what's around, what, you know, what's in the area. I'm definitely gonna go to the Martin Luther King Monument pretty soon, but I'm gonna go to Smithsonian first because they open at 10. So I wanna knock that out because I know Smithsonian, there's a lot to see in that building over there. There's a lot to see. So there's a Lincoln, Lincoln Monument over there, guys. Here's a distance away, literally right across from the Washington Monument. So you got a Lincoln Monument there. 
Washington Monument right here and then the Smithsonian is behind this building and you see that building in the distance I think that's the Capitol building yeah guys well thanks for watching make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel sorry about the finger i don't have my my um tripod today make sure you like share and subscribe to the, the content i'm trying to bring you guys more and more black history content you know my youtube channels i don't have that big of a following yet but my instagram is pretty big so make sure you go ahead follow me on instagram afro history and travel a f r o h i s t o r y a n d t r a v e l afro history and travel so you see there's a skyline of dc from this side i'm not sure what area that is but you know you local dc people would know or you dmv area people uh maryland people would probably know because you know dc is so close to where you live so i'm sure you guys come out here a lot there's another skyline so dc is not really known for having really really tall like towers is what i noticed but I'm guessing because it's the capital city, like you don't you don't see like huge skyscrapers here, like you would in a lot of other um, cities in America. There's the Smithsonian right there. So you see, it's a Sunday. We got a few people around here to check out the. Mind me, a few other tourists like myself. I'm gonna just say, go ahead and say I'm a tourist because I'm not from DC. I don't live out here. I lived in Maryland. I actually lived in Baltimore for a little bit, but I'm still considered a tourist. So, yeah. But it's all good. Yeah, and also for my. Um, subscribers if i have any subscribers that are from another country you know any african subscribers you know this is what it looks like here in the nation's capital in america's capital so but all right guys i'm gonna head to the smithsonian i'm not sure if i can record in there or take any photos but i'll try to give you as much content as possible Peace. hey guys as you can see Smithsonian right here. They already got a line out here. It's not even 10 o'clock, but they open at 10 on Sundays. It's about 9.45 and people are lined up out here early. So I was here a little earlier, but I went across the street to check out the monument. Now look at this line. It's crazy, so. All right, guys, one thing I want to tell you about the Smithsonian Museum, the admission was actually free. So if you come here, you can order your tickets early online. You come here, you don't have to pay. You don't have to pay anything. So I actually thought it costs something, but you can give them like a donation of $10, $20, but so it's free admission. So you come here, get here early on a Sunday opens at 10 o'clock so you wait in line you see the line over here behind me and you you have to um you have to order your tickets online though so you book them online even though it doesn't cost you anything you still have to uh book the ticket it's uh it's uh just go to the to the website Smithsonian African American Museum website you'll be able to book your tickets there no charge so just a little heads up so when you guys plan your trip out here you know you, you 
you have all the details you need to have a smooth trip. All right, family. Because of the uh, HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the base. Army General Colin Powell was nominated by President Bush today as chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. We're making her first trip in space today. Mission Specialist Mae Jameson. Solid rocket ignition and liftoff.